Well, massive outperformance for mid-caps, actually 1% up on the index, advanced decline ratio is about 2 is to 1. As you would expect, volumes on in the FNO market are slightly on the lower side, but cash market volumes are actually very high, 5,000 crores already on the NSCs. So don't be surprised to see more than 1,000 crores plus again from the FI front. Uh, but let's talk about one sector which has been showing signs of underperformance, that's the FMCG sector. Varun Lochap, uh, uh, Director at CIMB now joins in. Varun, hi, good morning. Uh, uh, interesting title of your report, uh, Rural India, All is Not Well. Uh, because all through last year, uh, that really was considered the big, uh, uh, you know, trigger for some of these FMCG companies. Uh, uh, what have you noticed in your surveys uh, uh, about rural India? Yeah, so we conducted did this uh, you know survey across uh, 13 states covering 34 districts and primarily uh, you know in in rural india because we wanted to uh, gauge the uh, you know the consumption trends and how the demand is shaping up out there because as you rightly said you know that has been the strong pillar of growth for the sector in the last uh, you know 12 to 18 months uh, what we are noticing are slightly worrying trends uh, clearly in rural we have seen growth uh, coming off compared to last uh, to, uh, you know what it was 12 months back uh, even in you know regions say north and east which are relatively more resilient even now we have seen growth coming off and uh, in, in particular west and south india have been uh, very weak in based on our channel checks at lot of the places growth is in low single digit or flat or even declining in certain states and districts so uh, so i think things are clearly slowing down in rural india and uh, you know the pressure of uh, slightly slowing rural wage inflation as uh, along with the you know rising consumer prices is starting to hit rural india also uh, to to some extent so so our uh, and our channel checks clearly revealed that things are still on the slowing down trajectory so if you see q2 versus q3 and into q4 we are uh, still witnessing uh, you know progressive slowdown which means we are probably some time away from uh, you know bottoming out out there okay Varun, uh, it's been an extensive survey that you've conducted. It's 13 states, 34 districts across all regions. So it's quite an extensive survey that you did. But in that sense, um, you know, you've already s seen maybe farm in income come down. But because of the weather disruptions that we're seeing because of the hailstorms and maybe even El Nino now affecting the possibility of a normal monsoon, is it going to become worse than what it already is or has some impact of it already set in that is the uh, the disruptive weather yeah we have highlighted in the report that you know erratic weather patterns uh, pose an additional risk to the sector growth now based on our channel checks and we did this survey uh, you know right through march uh, so in certain states we did hear from you know distributors and wholesalers that unseasonal rains have as of now impacted the supplies uh, so there is more of a supply disruption right now but a lot of those people were of the view that it could potentially hurt demand also going into you know q1 of f515 and then uh, obviously you know if there is a weak monsoon this year that would play through in f515 demand so so our worry is that uh, you know right now the slowdown that you have seen is all due to uh, the other economic factors and not so much due to the you know weather impacting your uh, growth now that is an additional risk which i think will play uh, out potentially in fy15 if uh, we have uh, you know weak monsoons uh, so i think our, our worry is that fy15 uh, the the risks are still to the downside in terms of growth uh, people are building in a v shaped sort of a recovery which we believe is very unlikely historically we have seen you know it, uh, consumption starts to pick up only 3 to 4 quarters after gdp starts to you know uh, pick up and so far we haven't seen any meaningful gdp recovery either so so I, uh, so our view is that consumption recovery if it happens would be more of fy16 story rather than fy15 okay so in your report you've highlighted that over in the over the past one year fmcg companies have seen their rural sales go go down to two times the urban growth and now to around one times it's uh, the urban growth that we're seeing based on all of the parameters and the risks that you're talking about do you think that it could flatten out means it could be parallel to urban growth or maybe even decelerate or worse or become worse than urban growth is there a possibility of that going into f550 yeah so see urban growth has been weak for almost uh, you know two years now and uh, uh, even even that has sort of bottomed out but still not starting to pick up whereas rural growth has started decelerating only in the last two or three quarters so as what we have highlighted in the report is if you go back uh, you know three quarters uh, prior 
rural growth was almost you know 2x for a lot of these companies compared to urban growth so if urban was growing at 10% for levers rural was growing at 20% and now that growth has uh, largely converged between urban and rural uh, so what has happened is urban has stayed uh, kind of muted rural has come down our our sense is that uh, you know you could have a period where uh, you know urban starts to pick up uh, before rural starts to pick up so there's uh, you know sometime in f515 probably second half of f515 you could have a scenario where urban growth starts to outpace uh, rural growth uh, because if you see historically last 8 to 10 years trend uh, rural doesn't significantly outpa outpace uh, urban growth so two two of them have grown at almost similar sort of a growth rates over a 5 to 10 year period it was only in the last 1 uh, to 2 years where rural was significantly outpacing and now we believe you know that would uh, probably uh, reverse to some extent Okay, Varun. Let's talk about couple of stocks then. Uh, are you surprised by the res resilience in Asian paints, for example? I mean, that that's been the the only stock which has uh, done well uh, over last month, last two months. This month also, it's up about some 13 percent or so. Yeah. So see, basically, uh, what we have seen is that all the consumer stocks have been underperforming. Only uh, you know some of these index heavyweights like ITC and Asian paints have done relatively better in the last you know two or three. month along with the nifty rally and i think it is part to do with you know some sort of a nifty buying which is helping uh, at least uh, pull up the index stocks and asian paints uh, obviously execution has been very good their volume growth rates have still not slowed down to the extent uh, we have seen for rest of the sector uh, like when i say sector it's more fmcg surprisingly paints demand has been a bit more resilient this time around and uh, so so i think asian paints uh, has been a favored stock but we are negative on asian paints uh, we are in fact positive on itc which we had upgraded in december but even that has had a good run now so i think from these levels asian paints is clearly an avoid for us so i think we believe it's too expensive and uh, you know some of the growth risk are there even in case of asian paints despite their strong execution and uh, itc is relatively better because their earnings are far more resilient than uh, these other companies in this sort of environment okay quickly um Varun, what is your expectation from HUL volume growth this time round? Q4. See, uh, our sense is uh, based on our channel checks, uh, levers uh, is still seeing a similar sort of a volume growth trend, you know, four to five percent. They haven't seen any meaningful downtick or uptick in their volume growth trajectory, though uh, markets have continued to slow down. So I think their execution has been quite good uh, for them. Rural is still outpacing their urban growth rate. Uh, so i think uh, levers volume growth should be in that uh, similar range of 4 to 5% based on our uh, checks all right varun thanks a lot uh